is Sudafed dangerous? Well, almost everybody knows that Sudafed can be made into methamphetamine, met labs. But let's talk about Sudafed. Sudafed is a decongestant. It's a great decongestant for people that have a common cold, for people that have allergies and congestion in the nose, people that have blocked ears. Sudafed works as a decongestant. It can shrink down the vessels of the nose so the nose doesn't get engorged, so you can breathe, so things will open up, so you'll feel better. Lots of products have Sudafed. It's pseudoephedrine. We spell it P-S-E-U-D-O, pseudoephedrine, because you need to be looking to see if there's Sudafed. Why? Because Sudafed can be dangerous. Sudafed is a pseudoephedrine, pseudoadrenaline. It makes people bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. If you take it at nighttime, you probably can't go to sleep. It can raise your blood pressure. It's a decongestant. It can raise that blood pressure. It causes the muscles that cause tone on the blood vessels to contract and narrow those blood vessels. So it can make blood pressure worse. People that have diabetes, hypertension, it can make their blood vessel disease worse. It can make people feel lightheaded. It can make people feel dizzy. It can make the heart rate irregular. So it can really be a bad medication. If you take Sudafed, be sure and tell your doctor that you're taking Sudafed as a decongestant for that cold, for that stuffy nose, for their drainage. See your doctor. If you've got drainage, you may have underlying allergies. There may be other medicines that are better for you. Now, more important is that Sudafed can be taken and manufactured into methamphetamine. And these are the MET labs. And these are mo the most dangerous medication that we have. You see pictures of people that are addicted to MET, MET methamphetamine, and their teeth are, are rotted out. They look like they're 95 years of age, but they're addicted. It's very, very addictive. Don't ever take it. Know that it can be very, very harmful to you. Should we take it away from over-the-counter well, then you may have to go see your doctor. You may have to get a prescription. It may be expensive. There are a lot of pros and cons, a lot of politics. We're going to leave that to our politicians, to our doctors, to our preachers, to our family people to decide on what's best for our society.